welcome back to another Battlefront update. We've got quite the treat for all you prequel fans in this short but sweet update. As famed leaker some underscore info has resurfaced once again and he's dropped some pretty spicy leaks that I'm sure a lot of you are really going to appreciate. But before we get into that, it should be said like always that this is in no way confirmation from DICE or any official news. So as always of the case of leaks, be sure to take these with a grain of salt. But with that said, if there ever was a leaker in the Battlefront 2 community that has such a strong track record of being right most of the time, it's without a doubt some underscore info. Alright, with that out of the way, let's jump into it. Starting with the first leak, some underscore info was randomly asked by someone over on Reddit about Ahsoka Tano and how her progress behind the scenes was looking. In response to this, he answered that she's doing good and has already been under development for 1-2 to two months. And in addition to this, when asked about when fans could expect to see her in the game or at the very least anticipate her announcement, some underscore info to this suggested that'll likely take at least 2-3 to three months. So yeah, that was of course a major leak revealing to us that not only are we still getting new heroes to Battlefront 2 this year, but Ahsoka Tano is currently in development. Now of course this isn't some wildly surprising news or anything of that nature. As for those of you that have been following Battlefront 2 news on a regular basis, then you'll know that Ahsoka along with Ventress were already being subtly teased by Dennis Branville since early of last year, where he told players over on Twitter that he really wanted to include some more female heroes into the game, and he made it no secret that he's a fan of Ahsoka too. Of course, some people wrote this off because they couldn't accept the possibility that an animated character would make their way to Battlefront 2. Which I kinda get it, but at the same time, no matter what anyone can argue, Ahsoka and Ventress are canon at the end of the day. And heck, we're being openly teased by the game's design director. You know, the guy who literally decides what gets added to the game or not. This certainly wasn't some low-level grunt making these teases too, but the top dog himself, Dennis Branval. Anyways, in late 2018, we also found a reference to Ahsoka in the game code, along with General Grievous having voice lines mentioning quite clearly her. Suffice to say, we were expecting Ahsoka to make her way to Battlefront for quite some time now, and this leak that she's well into development will certainly make all the Ahsoka fans out there pretty happy. Now considering Clone Wars Season 7 is dropping later this year and Ahsoka is a big part of it, it's honestly no surprise that DICE will be making her as a hero for perhaps a Clone Wars Season 7 tie-in in Battlefront 2, which as well should also make a lot of sense for why DICE are focusing so much on Clone Wars content right now. Considering some underscore info said that we should be expecting to hear more about her in 2-3 to three months, I wouldn't be shocked the least bit to see her in the game sometime in September. If anything, DICE may even drop the news of Ahsoka at EA Play this summer, which shouldn't be straying too far from some underscore info's leak about the announcement. Next, as I mentioned, Ventress is supposedly Ahsoka's dark side counterpart, that we've been anticipating to come alongside with her to the game as well. And it's also looking pretty safe to say that's going to be the case here too. As when some underscore info was asked if Ventress would be Ahsoka's counter, he replied with a simple yes. So there you have it. Expect the likes of both Ahsoka and Ventress to hit Battlefront 2 later this year according to this leak. Now unfortunately for now we only have an idea that they're both in development and when DICE could potentially announce them, but we still don't have any specifics on hand when they could actually be released or whether they'll be released together or as standalone heroes. Ideally, it would be better if they're released together than standalone heroes. As after the releases of Grievous, Obi-Wan, Dooku, and Anakin, we've already seen that having only standalone hero releases isn't the best idea for the game, as people will constantly be fighting over the play on the faction of that hero, just to have the chance to play as them. So I'd like to think that DICE learned their lesson from all of that and will avoid releasing standalone heroes in the future. I mean, that's something that I'd like to see, but whether that'll happen, that's up in the air. Again, like I mentioned before, it's most likely we'll be seeing them later this year, to coincide with the release of Clone Wars Season 7, that is widely expected to be coming out in the fall on Disney+. And not long after that, then it'll be December, which we should also be expecting to see some kind of tie-in in the game for Episode 9. But of course, we'll get more details on that as we get closer to the winter as I'm sure DICE are already in the planning and pre-production phase right now when it comes to Episode 9 DLC content. Also, before I end off, I know there are still some people wondering that, okay, Ahsoka was an animated character. 
but how in the world could Dice pull her off convincingly to look like a live-action character? Well, let me tell you, it's not that hard. As all the Force Arena players out there will tell you, it's very, very possible. As Netmarble did just that for Ahsoka and Force Arena. And as you can see, they did a gorgeous job on her. Not to mention, this was merely only for a mobile game too. So just imagine how much more detail Dice will be able to apply with the Frostbite engine. If Netmarble can pull it off, then I'm sure Dice can too. So in short, Ahsoka fans shouldn't have much to worry about her transition from animated to a live-action 3D version. Knowing Dice and the great work they've been putting into their hero designs, I think both Ahsoka and Ventress are in good hands. But that'll do it for this Battlefront update. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel to not only support it, but keep up with Star Wars news, gaming, and canon lore released every week. And consider following me on Twitter and Facebook to never miss out on the latest Star Wars related content. Thanks for watching and may the Force be with you.